to the stream amazing isn't it very very cool very cool opening yes much nostalgia it's great oh yeah something something about the last stream last stream we we did the ram wait no did we do the rampage no no we did something else oh the movie's playing again okay ah yeah turn the music off yeah yeah okay well, anyway, last stream, what we did it was that we cleared HR4 in Monster Hunter Rise. But, you know, after, after playing a bunch of Monster Hunter Rise, I, I kind of I got an itching for the old ways of the old world. Yes, that style of hunting where we have to, where we have to flex when we eat a potion. Oh. Uh, Oh, I miss it, yet I also don't miss it at the same time. Also, I now have to carry 20 wet stones in my inventory. Yay! Winning! Fantastic. Alrighty then, now let's get into this. Woo! Amazing. Fantastic. Finally! Ah, look at the little loading screen. Ah, oh, it's great. Ah, Berna Village, how I've missed you. We got rocks, we have, we have sheep, we have Mufi. Yay, Mufi. Mufi's my favorite. I, I never, I never particularly liked Poogie, but Mufi. I love Mufi. I do not believe we have met before, Hunter. What brings you to our village here in the Highlands? Well, I'm here because I was hired by the White Academy. I see. You have come an appointment from the Hunter's Guild to work for the White Academy. You must have traveled far. On behalf of Berna, let me welcome you, Hunter. I am chief of this humble village. This village being Berna Village, for you are the Berna chief. Ours is a village rich with history, centered around the White Academy, created long ago to research the origins of the mysterious ancient limestone structure at the base of the mountain near here. Our Academy is now one of the world's permanent institutions on all manner of monster research. And, and Berna, which was founded from small settlements that cropped up around the White Academy, has walked hand in hand through history with its most illustrious of institutions. Pretty much they were just the, um... Th these guys were the, uh... Ah, I forget, I forget what, it, what it's called in Monster Hunter World. What, what is the group that you work for again? It's not exactly the Hunter's Guild, I forget what it's called. Pretty, but pretty much Berna, uh, Berna Village was that before it was cool. Uh, ah, forgive me, you have not come to me for history lessons. No, no, I have not. Go introduce yourself to the chief researcher, and he will register your appointment as a right academy hunter. To find him further up the path, you should be able to recognize him by the white researcher's coat he wears. Now, as for the matter of your lodgings, the researchers have no trouble sleeping among piles of books and reports. But for you, I'll allow you to use this guest house. Consider it your home while you work here, free of charge. Inside, you will find an item box stocked with a selection of weapons. Use whichever one you think suits you. You will also have your own personal housekeeper who can help you with a variety of other services. Once you finish speaking with the chief researcher, come see me again. Okay. But yes, as for this game, I think 
Oh, hello. The Chamberlain. Ugh. Salutations, Meowster. May I call you Meowster? I am your housekeeper and the Academy's employee, Nya. Just say the word and I'll be there at your beck and call. I purr provide many services. Ugh. Want to watch that movie or cutscene again? Allow me to show you to the gallery, Nya. Hungry for more quests? Seeking unique palcos? Connect to the internet for downloadable content. So you see, Meowster, if you're looking for a little sugar and spice in your hunting life, then I'm your feline, Meow. I do need to run through two very important points with you, so clean the wax out of your ears, Meow. One, before quitting the game, remember to use the bed to save. Yes, a very good uh, thing of advice, Chamberlain. Thank you for reminding me. Two, when you return from a hunt, I highly recommend you use the item box to organize your items. Wow! Amazing! It's almost like this is a core part of the game. Remember these two simple rules of paw, and you'll be one happy hunter. Yeah! Oh, dang it. That's right. Desktop audio is, is, is bugs out. Dang it. Meow, can I help you today? You can't. Ooh, bonuses. I have no idea what any of that was. Oh well, make sure to come back and rest, Nya. Yeah. Um, manage equipment, select equipment. So what I think, the weapons we are going to use, we're going to be using the Great Sword primarily. Because I really like Great Sword in, in Valor style. Uh, other weapons that I enjoy immensely in the old world style of hunting is bow, switch axe, Bug staff, dual blades, and long sword. Oh yeah, and 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 charge blade. Charge blade's pretty cool as well. All the other weapons are, are kind of meh. All right. Lance, I absolutely despise lance. My my head just can't wrap around how this weapon works. Uh. Pet, uh, hunting horn. Hunting horn in this game is absolutely ridiculous because you actually have to remember the songs. And they take a super long time to play. And I'm not very good with memorizing stuff like that, so no. Hammer, eh. I mean, yeah, hammer's cool, but for some reason it just feels like it need to be like right next to the monster. Like pixel to pixel, and I just don't like the feel of it. Uh, gun Lance, I absolutely despise the heat gauge. The heat gauge is garbage. I do not like it. It is awful. Although, I believe I just get the poke poke slam. I don't think I actually have to do three pokes. At least I think. Sword and shield, you know what, sword and shield's cool deal. Bowgun, bow, light bowgun's fun. I hate heavy bowgun. I like these weapons, but not these weapons. These weapons, these weapons are garbage. I don't like these ones. These ones are bad. <laughs> so yeah, these, these, these are the weapons we're using. Fantastic. Just to, just so everyone can see them. We're using these weapons. Very fun. Very cool. This also means I'm going to be having to hunt a bunch of monsters like like a lot of monsters in order to maintain all these weapons right because when i get into high rank i want high rank versions of all of these when i get into g rank i'm gonna want weapons of all of these ah arc shot focus i'm pretty sure all all bows have power shot in this if i remember correctly Petrified Blade, Petrified Bow, Petrified Axe, Petrified Rod, Dagger, Strong Arm, Saber, Gun Lance, Sword, and Shooter. Fantastic. Do -do 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 -do. Just move all this stuff around. Yeah, with these boxes, I have a very specific way of like of how I like stuff being organized. Do -do -do -do. Do -do 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 -do. All 
Alrighty. Fantastic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Amazing. Wonderful. Ah. I'm actually gonna sort these a bit more. like this. Yeah. And then I just organize them to where uh, I want raw over element to where I want element over raw. That's all I just did. Alright, so the weapons more on this side, they want more element. The weapons over on this side want more raw. Raw, raw is just attack, by the way. It's just the attack. This, this right here. That's raw. Okay. Instead of element, element would be like fire and water and thunder and all that jazz. But yeah, looking good, looking great, looking very spiffy. And I'm gonna sell the stuff because I absolutely hate these weapons in old world hunting. Uh, well, I say old world hunting, I just hate Lance in general. But there is one thing I actually want to check out, and that's if I get the poke poke slam or if I get triple poke with this. Also, I'm changing the hunting style. <laughs> uh, guild is the definitive style for members of the Hunter's Guild. It allows for 200 arts and has a versatile mix of attacks. Straight for adapting to any situation. Much of the simple to use style that lets you equip up to 300 arts. It is also easier to charge up the arts gauge, so this style is perfect for going heavy on the arts. Aerial style is unique for allowing you to use an aerial dodge to jump on monsters and propel yourself high into the air! You can also launch yourself off of players and barrels, great for mounting monsters. Oh yeah, mounting is also completely different from how it is in, uh, in World and in Rise. It has a completely different mechanic to it. Now you can also launch yourself off of players and barrels, great for mounting monsters. Adept, adept style is about waiting until the last second to evade or guard your foes' attacks. Then you perform insta moves. It's difficult to pull off. No, it isn't. But allows for devastating counter attacks, dude. Adept longsword and adept dual blades. Oh, I love it. Oh, adept dual blades is so much BS though. It's not even funny. Adept bow is also really good. Whole point is, I really like Adept. I also like Aerial, but I really like Adept. Valor, Valor style relies on sheathing to fill your gauge and enter a stronger, faster Valor stage. Fill your gauge by using sheath canceling attacks and avoiding attacks with a sheathing stance. Valor, this is the, the only reason why I like Greatsword in this game. If Valor style wasn't a thing, I would not play Greatsword because the way Adept works with the Greatsword is just weird. It's, it's, it's like, it's like super weird. I don't like it. So we don't use it. And then alchemy, alchemy is just a meme. At the same time though, I've never actually used it. So this could be like God tier and I have, and I'd have, I'd be none the wiser. It's probably God tier and I'm none the wiser, but that's besides the point. Uh, entering the SP state in alchemy style will cause the alchemy gauge to fill more quickly, allowing you to use your alchemy barrel more often. Entering the SP state in valor style will cause the valor gauge to fill more quickly, giving you more chances to enter the valor state. Entering the SP state in Adept style will allow you to perceive monster's habits, giving you an extended period to carry out insta-moves. Oh yeah, because that's what I need. I need more time to be able to do this. Uh, in a style that's already completely busted, they had to make monsters in G-Rank. They, they specifically gave moves to monsters in G-Rank to counter this style. That's how busted Adept is. Aerial! Entering the SPC in Aerial style will empower your legs, giving you quicker recovery of stamina loss while performing a boost jump. Striker! Entering the SPC in Striker style will cause your art stage to gradually fill by itself over time, even while you're not attacking, helping it fill more quickly. Guild! Entering the SPC in Guild style will speed up your item usage, allowing you to lay traps and heal yourself quickly. Fantastic! I'm just gonna go with guild for the gun lance. Oh, that's right, hunter arts. Uh, change style, guild arts. Absolutely, uh, blast dash, an innovative art that uses shelling recoil to propel you forward, allowing you to close any gaps between you and your target, capable of finishing with an overhead smash after you land. SP! It goes from extra small to just small, but you know what, that's fine. 
store items. What items? I have no items. Also, your inventory is much smaller. This is it. This is your inventory. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight times three is 24. You only have 24 slots. 24 slots and one, two, three, four, five, six of them are going to be held up by combo books and armor and power charms later. Oh yeah, that's right, the combo books. You, did you think we forgot about the combo books? You never forget, you, you, you never escape the combo book life. Yeah, so unlike in World End and Rise, you actually have a chance to fail. You have a chance to fail crafting in this. Look at that, 90%, 10% chance you get garbage. You wanna know what you can use garbage for? You can sell it for a single zenny. It has absolutely no other purpose. It's great, it's fantastic. It's totally not infuriating when you're trying to go up against an elder dragon, craft an ancient potion, and then it turns into garbage. And then you have to make the, um, the sacrifice of bringing even more combo books, limiting your already incredibly small inventory space. But you know what? You know what? They they, they kind of made up for it because now, because this, because in, I want to say it was for Ultimate, they introduced the, um, the field pouch, which is just an extra inventory pouch for items that you just gather while you're out hunting. Really cool, really amazing. Because I 100% remember that that was not a thing in 3 Ultimate. You want to get nine carves of Dire Morales, you better make sure you have inventory space for it, or otherwise you're not getting those carves. Oh my goodness, because the way Dire Morales worked is that once you killed it, you had to skip the animation of it dying. You had to be in a very specific spot so you could immediately start carving when uh, it died. And you had just enough time to get all nine cars because it has nine cars. And if you, and if you end up not having enough inventory space, you miss a carve. You might miss two carves. Oh no. That is very bad. Yes, yes it is. You just ended up fighting this huge giant monstrosity of a black dragon with volcano wings, constantly going back on land and into the water, back on land and into the water, just for you not to get the carve. And that carve could have been an evil eye. Just saying, could have been a Dire Morales evil eye. At least, I'm, oh wait, no, I think you, it, it was a Dire Morales heart. That was the rare drop. Hang on. Do, 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 do. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Drops, 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 drops. Notes. Uh, urgent quest at HR7 to gain access to HR8. Damn you, ads. Uh, Dire Morales is the online final boss of Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. Yes, yes he is. Well, what were his drops? That's what I'm looking for. Not seeing it. Physiology, behavior, abilities, habitat, game, appearance, main series, in-game description, music, themes, and notes. Carves, there we go. Dire Morales Carves, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, yeah, Morales Evil Eye. Immortal Heart. Morales Smelter, Morales Hellwing. No, the Dire Dragon Gem, that's what it was. Yeah, the Dire Dragon, a legendary gem expelled from the body of a Dire Morales. It formed from crystallized magma. But it did have evil eyes. Yeah, Morales, evil eye, the immortal heart. Uh, Morales, scale, Morales, fireback, Mor Morales, fireclaw, gushing magma, dire dragon, Morales, smelter, and then Morales, hellwing. 
Yeah, nice. Amazing. Fantastic. But yeah. Yeah, you if you if you weren't fast on, on that car. If, whoop, Oh, there goes there goes 30 minutes. <laughs> Although I want to say the fastest I actually hunted a Diamond Rallus was 15. Was it 15? I don't, I don't think that's right. Now that I'm thinking about, it. I think it might have been more more like 20, 23ish, something like that. And I used a gun lance. I used a lightning gun lance, which was not very effective. And then I used a slime gun lance, which I also believe wasn't very effective. I should have just brought a Kelby sting shot. <laughs> just, just kill everything with slime. <laughs> because sli because we didn't have blast back then. We had slime. That's right. I'm going to take the items. Uh, Baby journal. Oh, that's not. Oh, what the? Okay. Nope, that's not it. Uh, Sword. Sword is X. I want my mega potions. I want my well done steaks. I want my. They're missing. Give me my wet stones, please. Woo! Oh, yeah, hot and cold drinks. Those aren't a thing in Rise. You don't need hot and cold. Oh, book of combo. What's a book of combos? I'm just gonna get these right off the bat. Yeah. There we go. Uh, item pouch. Swap. Throw these all the way over here. Stones get to be right there. Fantastic. Amazing. And then we get to item sets. Register a set. This one. Yep. We get to edit the name of the set. And this one will just be hunting. Oh, nope. I, back, I backspace too many times. Okay. So three backspaces. Got it. Do, 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 do. H. U. There we go. Hunting. Yay. Fantastic. Items have been swapped and I am ready to go. All right, after I get all these, all these G's. World map, oh yeah, there's a world map. Oof. Yeah, hey, you're a new face. You the new Academy hunter. Well met then, Skippy. You'll be seeing lots of me. I'm Manville, the village smithy. If you need gear, then I'm your guy. Yeah, you have the uh, same, uh... You have the same, uh... Mesh as the, uh... Riverian in 3 Ultimate in the village. But let's not waste any time with pleasantries. Let me tell you just what the smithy's all about. There's two major things I can do for a hunter such as you. Forging and upgrading. Forging's where I make equipment from scratch. Just give me the materials and some zenny and I'm good to go! You'll need different materials based on the equipment. Monster bones for bone gear or for metal gear. But I'm sure you can gather the rest from there. As for upgrading, I'll cover that some other time. I prefer pounding some metal to flapping my gums, so if you need some gear, just give me a holler. Well, Skippy, what's it gonna be today? It's gonna be nothing good, sir. Come back soon, you hear? Oh yeah, also decorations are like immediately available. You don't have to wait until, uh, hiring. Only problem is... Just a very slight problem. You need a total of 10 for them to activate, otherwise they don't proc. You have you have nine, that's not enough. You have you have two, that's also not enough. You need ten. No more. Hopefully you don't have less, because you can have negative skills. And you do not want negative skills. Uh, manage equipment. Do I have a charm? I, uh, or a talisman? I do not. But yeah, even right there. Bam, right there. You see that? Manage equipment, select it. Bam. There, there's a slot right there. Right there. You see it? Bam. One slot already. Hot damn, right? What about this one? Yeah, one, one, one. Yeah. Bam. Four slots right there. That's probably just enough to proc Maestro as well. 
if I had to take a guess. Why are you, why, uh, did I just talk to you? Skippy, just the hunter I was looking for. See, there's something I've been meaning to tell you. Are you much of an insect glaive user? Yes, yes I am. Just so you know, you can select Kinsect Swap at the item box or the smithy. That is, if you have two glaives. Then it's off to the item box, manage equipment, or the smithy. Upgrade equipment. There is, of course, one small catch. Both Kinsects need to be the same type. Blunt for blunt, cutting for cutting. Well, Skippy, what's it gonna be today? It's gonna be nothing good, sir. Come back soon again. Yeah, 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 yeah. What about you? Um, oh, yes, you remind me of Colrus from Pokemon. Aha, you must be the new assistant. On the assistant the giver has dispatched for me. You're not quite as bookish as I expected. That's all right, though, though, I can't, though Academy is more than just a, about books and its study of monsters. Sometimes our research requires that we go out into the thick of things and study monsters in their natural habitats. And that's where you'll come in, Deputy Researcher. You'll take care of the occupational hazards. Ah, yes, of course. I'm the person that you have to send to go kill the thing and risk also being killed. Fantastic. I appreciate it. Lemonade. So please sign this liability waiver for lasting effects from fire, poison, paralysis, slime, mold, viruses. Yep, yep. Now then, currently our efforts have been concentrated on the Jurassic Frontier. We're short-handed. Oh yeah, that's right. Gormagala's in this. Gormagala is my favorite elder dragon. There's lots still left to explore. So that's where you'll be going, deputy. Pen in hand. And sword too, perhaps. Yeah, I, I hope so. I won't. I don't want to fight monsters without my swords. Uh, do you see that large white building at the base of the mountain in the distance? That's a building. That doesn't look like a building. That looks like a bunch of sails and tarps. That's that's not a building. SR Academy Research Facility, the Hunter's Hub, overseen by the Hunter's Guild, is just out in front of it. It's not a gathering hub. It's a Hunter's Hub. There's a difference. Ah. That makes Burner here sort of gateway for relations between the White Academy and the Hunter's Guild. The Hunter's Hub is run by the Guild Manager. Drop by to register yourself sometime. Oh no, look at me rambling on like I don't have reports to write and places to be. I'll take care of the paperwork, so in the meantime, why don't you talk with the Burner Chief and see if he has any work for you? Okay, let's see if he has any work for me. Movie! That little Mufa there is named Mufi. It was just born a while back. You should try petting it. Gray. Wow! Mufi really likes you, huh? Well, she doesn't have an owner, so maybe you could try raising her. Okay. <laughs> Yay, Mufi! You're coming with me! Whee! <laughs> yes! Oh my goodness! Okay, there you go. Fantastic. Goodbye, movie. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Ah, Hunter, I take it you've spoken with the chief researcher. You should be able to handle all of your paperwork. Now then, I imagine it will take some time before everything is squared away with the right academy. Until then, perhaps you could help me with a few quests. You could consider it a bit of a warm-up before officially starting your work as a right academy hunter. Excuse me. Once you're ready, you can visit the quest counter to accept quests. The quest counter is run by that young woman over there. She can be rather... focused. But she means well. Speak with her and you will find training quests, as well as some one-star quests that I have requested. Should you need to review some of your basic hunter training, I recommend going over some of the training quests. The village also has facilities such as the market and armory, which should prove useful for your preparations. Also, if you take... Uh, if you take the path down to the right, you'll find yourself at the Palico Ranch. The feelings of Berna make their home there, and several of them run a variety of unique and useful facilities. You can also find the Meowstress there. Oh, wait, no, the Meowstress. There we go. She scouts Palicos to aid hunters like you. Speak with her to learn more. Finally, 
please take this small allowance. A pittance, but I pray it will help you it will help you on your journey, Hunter. Now then, the quest counter is waiting! Good luck, Hunter, thank you! Some Zenny. Hello, her her Priatress. Her pri pri I'm not I'm gonna say per Priatress. Yeah, yeah, I think it's that one. Well, howdy there, darling. Welcome to my fine little grub hub, the Feline Bistro. The meals I prepare here are mighty good before hunts, as I give special bonuses. We do things pretty simple around here. Just grab a seat and choose order a meal. Then you order your dish. The kind of dish determines the bonuses you receive to stats like health and defense. Then you choose a sauce to go with it. Choose carefully. Clouds, it affects what food skills you get. You can pay for your meal in either Zinni or Academy points, but only one meal per hunt is permitted. Hell you what, darling. Have this voucher. I'll let you eat. It'll let you eat for free and maximizes all stamina bonuses. Now that you know how we do things here, try per Placing in order yourself. Ugh. Once again, puns are the bane of my existence. Well, if it ain't the fresh faced new hunter in town, welcome back to the bistro, darling. Have you had a bite to eat yet? I wish I had more dishes I could prepare for you, darling. The menu's so small. I've been thinking of expanding it with a little research and development, you might say. Wanna lend a paw and help me out? All I need are some good ingredients to experiment with. When I discover a new dish, I'll add it to the menu. But first, let's practice how it all works. For now, we'll go with Larry and Salami and Anmo Beef. They're both meat, but it'll work, yeah. We'll just mix them both together and see how it turns out. It'll be fine. I promise. Hey, that's how I end up cooking most of the time anyway. First, oh, excuse me, open the ingredient list, then pick layering off salami and then add more beef in that order. It's easy. Claws, you can only combine two ingredients that will make a dish you haven't discovered yet. Check, help. If you want to know more, come back whenever you have new ingredients. All right, darling, let's get to cooking. Here you go, bam. Yay, Oof. a new dish was added to the menu. Dish. Oh, hello. Howdy, Hunter, sweet to meet ya. There's something I should tell you about Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. Oh, special rewards are delivered the That's a new one. More hunting you do. They are delivered to me. Don't worry, I'll look after them like my own litter. Come drop by every now and again to see if there's anything waiting for you. Mostly just need the quest tickets. I'll be waiting cautiously. But on the bright side, behold! place where the felines gather. Hey, it's Nico! Neko! Neko means tiger far east, I swear. It doesn't mean cat, I promise. Alright, I might, I might have lied slightly. Neko means cat. Salutation! No. Let Neko start over. Konnichiwa! Yes, that better. My name is Neko. Neko runs Trader. Neko very, very familiar with hunters. Eh? You are Academy Hunter. Honto. Well, oh, Academy is very important client of Trader. Domo! Yeah. You don't know purpose of Trader. Mundanai! No problem! Neko X Perlane to you everything! 
First, let's discuss order items. You can send Balan Coach for Bouquet to get items. I have no idea how some of these words are pronounced. Bouquet means trade. Currently, you can only trade with Sun Snug Farm. However, that change in future. I want my trader magic for you. Sugi, next topic we'll talk about is exchange for items. You give Neko shiny white academy points, and Neko give goods in exchange. To earn white academy points, finish quests or help come. Komatu. Bruh. Komatu. Ah. Word, villagers. When people in trouble, you help. Yo. Select hunter info from hunter's notes in the start menu to learn about white enemy points. Zahi! Saigo! Neko explain about the requests last! Villagers leave requests here with Neko! Oh! Ah, uh, that's a word! Almost forgot! You can also trade from home! Prepare an area or a housekeeper to- I'm gonna try to pronounce it anyway. Wasurita? Is that it? I hope that's it. Wasuri- blah 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 blah. Only guy, visit Neko at Trader again. A sign of friendship. Neko give you like Nia Apple. Meow. If you use like Nia Apple when preparing a trade order, you're feeling able to barter for more items. Sugoi it is great. You want no more? Perhaps you find info in help section. Meow. Gambare. Gambare means break a leg. <laughs> Speak, and Neko shall help you. Okay, well, exchange for items, trade goods, stuff, more stuff, special goods. Oh yeah, that's right, the sword oils. I completely forgot about these. Limited goods, backgrounds, titles, a bunch of titles. That That's a lot of time. My, my goodness, I do not remember being this many many titles right off the bat. Okay, well, uh, pet costumes. Boogie! Pushing star, appealing apple, black honey, blue drop jumpsuit, cotton candy, buzzy blue bee, pink frog, the heart empress. Fantastic. Fantastic. Alright, bye, Neko. Domo! Please come again. Meow! Okay. What about you? You don't have a thing, so you probably don't want to talk to me. A new face. You must be the one of whom the chief spoke. Yes, yes. You wish to become a white academy hunter. This is the information counter for the true, the proud, the meowster hunters. From our balloon, we scour the land. We carry the hopes and dreams of each and every palico. But no, they're not ready to depart yet. First, you must prove your abilities, yes. After some problems in the past, you have learned to be slow to trust. When you are ready, then I will teach you of the Meowster Hunters. Until that time, I leave you to the Chief's quests. Until next time, brave travels. Okay. What's this? A new face? Oh, I could shout, hello, I'm the Meowstress, the Palico Scout. That's right, she talks in rhymes, I forgot about that. Scouts like me search the land far and wide for just the right felines to put by your side. These Palicos aid you in hunting and more, their uses are many, functions galore. To start the recruitment, just select higher, then choose the Palicos that you desire. Of course, you don't have to choose those that I found. Simply choose Scout of Palico and I'll search around. And after some time, say the length of a quest, I'll be back with a custom picked litter. Impressed? And once you have chosen your Palico horde, you can manage them all at the Palico board. As a sign of our friendship, a proof of our ties, let me find you your first of the cute little guys. Bobtail strike, two spots or three. Name it, I'll find it. Now, what'll it be? If you still have a question or seek words more precise, just pick the help options for tips and advice. Just tell me what kind of feel I will do and I'll find the Palico friend just for you. Yay. Amazing. Strike, monotone, two-tone, Calico, tabby. We'll go with the tabby. 
uh, change color. And we're not going with the tabby. We're not going with the calico either. I'll go with the monotone. That doesn't really look like a black cat, not gonna lie. Eyes, normal, thin, sharp, go, close, scar. We'll go with the scar. Ears, normal, closed, attentive, perky, brown. We'll go with the attentive. Tail, normal, round, crooked, bushy, long, always bushy. Look at it. Oh, it's so much better than this. I'm so disappointed this is the this is the long tail option that they have for Rise. I want the bushy one. It's so fluffy. Voice type. Uh That's the that's the uh, mailing, and that's the feline. That one's just a new one. Also, I hope you you like you like hearing these sounds a lot, specifically this one. That one right there. That one is going to play so much it is mind numbing. All right. Yeah. Search for this calico. Yes. All right, simple. Now don't move an inch. I'll be back soon. This one's a cinch. Here we are. Match right down to the furry ear ends. I hope you'll be the best of friends. Rename the palico. Yes. Pop, 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 pop. Oh, wait. No, I want to rename the palico. Pop, 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 pop. There we go. And of course, we always name it after my dear Kiki that I lost. He lost a very long time ago. He died. Very sad. Midnight, you shall live. You are immortalized in this game forever. Sent to the reserve list. Once you're ready to hire more, you know who to come looking for. Have you heard of Prowlers, dear? Their felines even monsters could fear. When a feline takes up the Prowler role, he's filled with the fire of a hunter's soul. Whenever you need a Palico to spot for you, say, if you get tired, just choose a Prowler from those you have hired. I'm sure there must be quite a few of the deers who are itching to start their own questing careers. From the Palico board, just select the Switch to Prowler Hunter subject. Pick your Prowler, then switch mode two, and you're set. All done. You can switch back when you're through. When you're through. Oh, that one didn't rhyme. If you have any questions or if you're just bored, try selecting help at the Palico board. As always, dear hunter, if it's feelings you need, just come speak with me and I'll find them with speed. Aw, leaving so soon. Come again then, okay? I'll always be here all day and every day. <laughs> How dare I either. Are you aware of the, of the support bias quirk that affects how all the palicos work? Biases affect which support moves a palico has, which ones it uses, when, how it speaks, all that jazz. To specify bias, select Scout by Abilities, and I'll find you ones with all the right moves and the right sensibilities. Not one of the felines I find is a quitter. Have a look and you'll see. Take your pick of the litter. Okay, well, I want I want healing power codes, because I, I, I like having the healing ones. Healing, small first. Yes, scout preferences saved. Begin the search. Start scouting, yes. Yay, all right. Uh, uh, Palicos have levels which help your act, well, which help you assess just how much experience your helpers possess. They can train at the ranch and between bouts of rest, or they can level with you while you're out on a quest. So train up your Palicos and train them up strong, because strong feline helpers will do you no wrong. Just tell me what kind of feline will do. Blah 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 blah. Uh, which ones do you have at the moment? Andrew, yes, you will do. Oh lord, I'm picking up the rhyming! Oh... 
If this keeps up, the monsters will start dying. No, stop it. I have to quit. This, is, this isn't any funny anymore. It's gone too long, this bit. Ah! Select power goes. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, oh, fantastic. Oh, it's so stupid. <laughs> uh, support moves. Uh, I want the herb horn and the mini barrel bombe. You can have another herb horn. Fantastic Palco skills. Slacker slap. And you don't have anything nice. Manage equipment, select equipment. Um, Acorn Burna. Bone wedge, bone wedge. Fantastic. Deck to the nines. Oh, hello. Greetings and sell you. Meow -loo. Oh, I give up. Welcome to the Palico Ranch. Here we have plenty. Er. Her plenty of places for your Palicos to keep themselves busy. What? I mean, yeah. You know what a Palico is, right? You've got to be kidding me. Shall I explain? Explain. The basics about Palicos? Nah, dude, I know how this works. If you ever get a problem, er, problem, I feel like you need to read up on Palicos, just take a look at everything under the Hunter's Notes in the Start menu to learn more. Oops, I almost forgot something really important. Have you hired a Palico already? Er, already? If you haven't hired one, I recommend that you take care of that right now. Fortunately, you only need to talk to a Palico scout to get some assistance. When you visit the Palico Ranch, the Meowstress is the scout to talk to. She's right over there. There are also plenty of other facilities here to help you with whatever you need. You're suffering you know, uh, There's a trader purchase item, Palico board, which will be uh, there. I also need to cover that I need uh, actions with my enemy points. Just take these enemy points. Thank you. Goodbye. I need to accept the quest. If I use gun lance, it's completely dependent on if it works the way I think it works or not. Hi, hi, hunter person. Welcome to our little patch of heaven. So, you're here to become a academy hunter. Well, you came to the right place. Did you know that Berna means gateway to the right academy in Wyverian? Well, actually, that's a lie. Sigh. Even with all the blue skies, amazing cheesy cuisine, and adorable mufas, Berna's PR is kinda lacking. Berna deserves to be positively buzzing with tourists that just need to think of something that appeals to the masses. Hey, Pwn, how you doing? Welcome to old school monster hunter. Can you paw? I know, right? It's great. Oh, oh no, chat's in the way. Let me just... Yeah, there we go. You see, I'm kind of like Berna's ambassador. I'm always going to other villages and... Oh, gosh. Look at me yapping on and on. It's just... If I start talking about Berna, I can't stop. I'm too big. He's too big. Why are you too big? Who's too big? Blocking everything. Ah, yes, the chat. Yeah. <laughs> Let me formally introduce myself. I'm the resident Bernagal. I'm on the crest counter here. I bet the chief sent you over to have me set up you with a quest, didn't he? Well, if you need a quest, I've got them. Hunting, gathering, you name it. Each quest has a level because, hello. We don't want new hunters getting maimed out there. So for right now, only one star quests for you, buster. That's not so bad. Uh, did you beat Rise already then? No, I got a, a bit tired of Rise and I wanted to go back to old world hunting. I wanted to flex every time I drink a potion and have to carry 20 wet stones on me at all time. It's not so bad, better than getting ripped to shreds, right? Take a stab at some of these and we'll go from there. Anyway, after you've accepted a quest, go left to the quest board and press the A button to take off. Keep in mind that you that once you accept the quest, you can't enter your house unless you cancel the quest. That is one thing that I do not miss about Old World, and that Rise does amazing. You can just accept the quest and go wander around a Kimura village. It's great. But this, you want to leave this zone? Nah, you have to cancel the quest first. 
And if anyone else also wants to leave, they have to leave. If they join your quest and you cancel their quest, well, all of them are also kicked out of the quest. Keep in mind that once you accept the quest, oh yeah, I already read that. For that reason, we put an item box near the quest gate in case you need to organize your stuff before leaving. Finally, if you need to practice hunting some more, you can pick a training quest from here. You can figure out the boring details like how to use weapons and items later. For now, pick a quest. That's it. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a PR campaign to plan. Good luck out there. Anyway, here's all the questing action lined up for today. Let's see. Well, the rewards is a great cow. Find the ferns, do for dragon amber medicinal moths, horns of plenty, wipe out. Slate 10 macau, deliver 3 kelby horns, deliver 3 immortal moths. Deliver three dragon amber pieces, deliver eight unique ferns. I am going to do the Kelby quest, but I am going to be smart and I'm going to equip and equipment, select equipment. The sword and shield. Because you can just bash them with the shield and they just drop the horn. Hello. Salutations, meowster. You can meow, use the trailer from the comfort of your home. Good muse, yeah. Mew, you, oh, meow, you don't need to go all the way back to the Falco Ranch. When, when Nya want to do a trade from your house, just speak with me. Easy peasy, Nya. I cannot wait to replace you with someone else. Just another service I provide, and my goal to be the best housekeeper ever. If per chance you need anything at all, please feel free to call on me. Meowster, my goodness, they are very heavy-handed with the cat puns and Jen and Jen. Oh my goodness, like I, th I thought they were a bad and and rise. I thought they were actually. Now that I think about, it, I don't think there was a single cat pun in uh in world, was there? Like maybe in the um, what call it? The uh, the little quest infographics. Mouscular Chef do any of the cat puns? I don't think he did. <laughs> Make sure to come back and rest every meow and then meow stir. Did cats talk in world? Um, yeah, they did. It, if you went up to talk to them. But the thing is, I don't think any of the cats require you to talk to them, except for Mouscular Chef when you're, uh... Well, actually, now that I'm thinking it, Mouscular Chef. Meow is in his name. There's a cat pun right there. That just, that just blows my theory out of the water. <laughs> Ah, hundred percent. I've got something important. Blah 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 blah. Yes, hunter for day. It's very cool. Uh, horns of plenty. Pretty much every day I get a hunt a monster that's on on this thingy. Hang on, hang on. I'm gonna point it with my face. Hang on. Oh, I have to click the quest first. Amazing. Anyway, here's the quest. But yeah, this thingy. This thingy. I kill this. I get like. Like, I actually, now that I think about it, I have no idea how many extra rewards I get. Like, maybe maybe three? Maybe you just like, get an extra three cards or something? I'm not 100% sure. I never do these. <laughs> like, why would I hunt a great Macau when I need to hunt, uh, Mizutsunes and Glavinuses and all that? Oh, where's the play? This one! An animation I can get behind that isn't a cringe inducing song! Fantastic! Uh. Not as go good as World, though. Oh my goodness, I love World's little food cutscenes. Uh, that's right. Woo! Let's go! Lemonade. Mmm, delicious. Eastern medicine believes Calby horns can help heal injuries, so I like to keep a stockpile in my house. That means you get to go carve three of them for me. Don't dawdle now. Okay. <laughs> Lemonade. Oh, yeah, that's right. Map. Whoa, paintballs. Fantastic. Oh my goodness, the nostalgia. It's so good. Yet it's also so bad at the same time. No! Oh my gosh, no! 
not the paintballs. I can mess with the paintballs. Ah, uh, hello, Larinos. How are you doing? Oh my goodness. I'm guard. <laughs> oh my best. Did I get you? Yeah, I got you. Fantastic. Oh yeah, that's right. I can't see my sharpness gauge anymore. Fun. Oh my goodness. All of the um, quality of life changes are really, really starting to show. My go oh, hang on. Hang on a minute. Bam. There we go. Now we can see the items. Fantastic. Tell me! You have met your match! Wait. I could have sworn pressing the shield button would just instantly draw this. That's weird. Alright, get over here. Thank you for your understanding, Kelby. Give me your horn, please. Oh, I think that one's just dead. <laughs> Look at all the precious items hiding around here. Oh, hey, I got another one anyway. Nice. And now I believe there aren't any all the way to area 11 or 10. Although there might be one in 4, 6, or 5. Oh, well, we have these guys again. I forget what they're called, but Bugs, Joy. Everyone likes the Bugs. Yeah, here we go. Get over here. Come here. One star quests are so much fun. Not bad, Meow, but I'm not afraid of you. Mm, yes, of course. Stand still, please. Apparently one of these things do... Do both of these? Do both of the Palico weapons do bludgeoning? I don't think the Bone Wedge does. I'm pretty sure that's a cutting weapon. But eh, I've been wrong before. Well. Ah. Uh, Kelby Horn's achieved. Time to go back to the box. <laughs> I guess. One thing I've always wanted to figure out, but I've never really been able to figure out because I've never because I can't be bothered to set up a timer, is trying to figure out, like, the most effective ways to get from a, uh, a base camp from an area. Right? So, like, if you're, if you're in Area 5, what is the quickest way to get back to base camp? Is it Area 6-1 base camp, or is it Area 4-2-1? I have no idea. I don't think anyone knows, now that I think about it. But at the same time, there's probably a good chance that people do know. Maybe. Probably. Most likely. Wee. Now, I have a capture card, right, for the, uh, for the Switch. But hear me out. What if I got a capture card for a 3DS so I could stream for the ultimate? Right? That sounds like a great idea, doesn't it? Sleepy. I sleep. I get full health. Quest complete. Fantastic. Gotcha! Oh, I also have no idea what quests are key quests. Ah, yeah. About <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I can't just hold A and collect all the items. Woo. Oh boy. Oh buddy. Oh my goodness. Ah, but you know what? You know what? This the I I I, I wanted this. I want I wanted I want nostalgia. I, 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 I can't I have to stop. 
complaining about it. It's fun. Ooh, what are you? What are you doing? Stop right there. That look in your eyes. That confidence in your step. Excuse me. You want to be the very best like no one ever was. Am I right? Well, if you want to be like no hunter ever was before. Oh, hey, look. He was actually going to go there. Nice. There's two things you got to know. Hunting styles and hunter arts. These two things are key to becoming a monster hunting master. Uh, a real shame that they got rid of them. I'll even teach you about control types as a bonus. So, you want to know more? And am I the best instructor in all the land? Sure. You know it. Now repeat after me. I know nothing. The master of style knows all. I am less than dirt. Good! The first thing you've got to get a grip on is hunting styles, which determine the way you hunt. This is because each style affects what kind of actions and attacks you can perform. One style, for example, lets you boost yourself off monsters and other objects for a monster for a monster of a for a monster of a jump. And another style lets you perform special defensive maneuvers suited for deadly counterattacks. There are six hunting styles in all you can choose from, each with its own distinct flavor. Does does what what does alchemy do? <laughs> Is alchemy just guild but with a barrel? I'm pretty sure that's what alchemy is. It's just guild with a barrel. Now let's talk about hunter arts. Wanna show off? Wanna completely rock a hunt? Then look no further. Use named attacks number one through three. Hunter arts come in, come in the universal any weapon variety. And ones that are specific to each weapon type. But before you try ta ta tacking them all on at once, know that the number you can equip depends on your style. You can add up to three at once to toss around willy nilly, or just a single arc to call your trump card. But don't think you've nah, you gotta put a ring on whatever hearts and style you choose. You can always change them from the item box at your house or the prep area. If you wanna be the best, you gotta try them all. And by try them all, I'm only going to use guild. Well, actually, I'm just gonna not use striker and uh. Stri striker and, and alchemy. I'm gonna be using all the other ones, depending on the situation. There are also three control types for arts, gest gestures, and so on that you can select in options. Not only can you make changes to control types in your hunter's notes, you can also check what each type does. Only an idiot would ignore this. So, you want to know more details of each of the styles in hunter arts? Bwahaha! Can't get enough of the master of style, eh? Well, I've got plenty more to teach. Alright, time to learn from the master! Had enough? You're lost. Later. See you later, nerd. Oh my goodness, there's so much character in all of the text boxes. Alrighty. Oh yeah, by the way, these are the weapons of choice. The weapons of choice are great sword, gun lance, switch axe, a uh, charge blade. Uh, long sword, bug staff, sword and shield, dual blades, gun, and bow. Oh. I think I kind of want to use bug staff. I haven't used bug staff in a while. Ugh. Bug staff is fun. Old school bug staff where you can't fly around like a helicopter. Uh, although technically, technically aerial. Bug staff. If, if I remember correctly, you fling yourself around like an aerial, right? I want to say that's a thing. No, what I'm thinking of is is the spin that you get in aerial when you have the when you have red incense. That's what I'm thinking that they kept in World and Rise. Okay, not the dodges, not the midair dodges. We're not that crazy yet. What do I want to use? What do I want to use? You know what? I want to use bow. I want to. I want to do old school bow, where instead of aiming down line of sights and spam dodging, you have to charge the thing. Reports are part of the monster list. You can find it in your hunter's notes. Blah 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 blah. blah. Thank you. Hello. How are you, ladies and gentlemen? 
Yeah, attention, please. This is the airship flight check encounter. We are currently boarding passengers with my academy permission only. We are unable to serve other passengers at this time. But I see that you're a hunter. That being the case, we offer a hunter call service that you can take advantage of. At your request, we'll send out a hunter call for you from the check-in counter. No mussy cat, no fussy cat. You can send out a hunter call from a hunter's hub and local plan. It'll ping anyone with hunter search activated. Impressive. We pride ourselves on thorough service, but this service can only be used by people who've created a hub. Okay. That's fair. Who else? Ah, the Palco Ranch. Okay. Training unlocked, fantastic. Hello. Hi, Hunter, I got some excellent news. We just opened the Palico Dojo. It's a place to train your Palicos. Use it effectively, and your Palicos will be a fur horse to reckon with. There's two main menus in the dojo lessons and special training. Lessons make it pop. Possible to take a young Palco and teach it new support moves and Palco skills. Special training helps you speed up a Palco's growth and recovery. Yeah. To use the Palco Dojo, approach the signboard to the left and press the A button to confirm. If you need a more in-depth explanation, you can always check help. In celebration of the Palco Dojo's anniversary, I've got some free right Academy points for you. Enjoy. What, what else do you have for me? You're talking about. Hello, Hunter. Or should that have been Nyalo? Anyway, I have to introduce to the Palco Dojo menu. Intro. Intro Muse. Anyway, you know the special training option. That's what I'm going to X. Her. Lane. Yes. In special training, you find an option called Change Support Skill. Still with me so far. I mean, so far. <laughs> At least the. At least this one's self-aware. There's a whole kit and caboodle. No, kit and caboodle? Kit and cat boodle? Ugh. You can do a lot with this option, okay? So first, first, choose a support move or skill. Did we say support? Not support? I can never remember. Then the Palco can learn a different support move or skill to replace the one you chose. Yeah. But the learn exchange is sort of a miss mystery. It all depends on the power code. It's more an art than a science. Oh, but if you use a feline codex, then you can choose what gets relearned, which is nice. You can change support moves or skills once per per quest. So choose wisely. I guess. Yeah. Oh, and because it counts as special training, you'll have to spend some like carry points on it. That's all. Buy for Meow! <laughs> Hello, Meowstress, how are you doing? At first, I can only introduce you to low-level Palicos. One's quite new, but once you have finished more and more quests and furthered yourself on the path to be best, I may just be able to find you one stronger. Deers that will last on the hunting field longer. Just tell me what kind of feeling will do, and I'll find the Palico friend just for you. Fire! I want the heels! Give me the heels! No, don't rename it! Dang, no! No! Ah! Ah! No! Do -do 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 -do. And there we go. Uh, scout a palico, scout by abilities, healing, assistance. Start scouting. Yes. Thank you. Aw, leaving so soon. Come again then, okay? I'll always be here. All day, every day. Do -do -do -do. Item sets. Sets this one. Fantastic. Onward! Now what? What to do next? I'm not exactly sure. I guess I do more quests. Do, 
ってるけどSpawn. That's right, the little dudes don't last very long. Red Raven. Yeah, they disappear super quick. Jeez. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Now, get over here. There we go. Also, no damage numbers. It's more cinematic this way. Hello. Ah. Dang it. I missed. Ah. 
Damn, it's that time. Got him. Oh, that's right. The shoulder buttons are completely useless. I forgot about that. Dang it, the sound's starting to desync again. Curses. It, it's not it's not a lot at the moment. It might be like a quarter of a second off, but I can tell. I think. Oh my goodness. Ah, my ears are playing tricks on me. I hate it. I, I don't like it. Ah, ah, ah. Banabras! <laughs> yeah, there we go! It's so weighty in, in old world hunting. Oh, I love it. Well, the Banabra's gone. Poor Banabra. He was so young. Yeah, there we go. Gotcha. Also, I don't remember Wyvern's fire taking this long to cool down. That's taken a hot minute. Jeez. There we go. Oh yeah, that's right, the balloons! Wave to the balloons and they tell you if there's a large monster in the area. Nice! Hey, guess what, buddy? The free trial of life has expired. Sorry. Alrighty, where to next? I want to say... Oh, no, we stay right here. Got it. Anything else? Anyone else? Anyone? Anyone at all? Going once. I'm going twice. Going three times. All right, I'm out of here. See you later. Woo! Loading screen, yay. <laughs> Oh, if a monster wants to kill me, I can just run out of the zone. But at the same time, if I come back in, I might just get blasted by, like, a laser beam or something. Uh, you know what? You, 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 you take what you can get. Hey, you gotta look on the bright side of things. Something like that. Yeah, trust me. <laughs> Nabras, bones, plant. Plant, plant, plant. I'm gonna go where the mushrooms are. See you later. The big mushrooms, the huge mushrooms, the absolutely gargantuan mushrooms. Phalanx and Ranopolopolopolises live over there. I want to say Jaggies live down here. But they're just normal macaws. Yes, 
Fantastic. Fantastic. Woo! That's it. That's the quest. That's all there is to it. Ah! Flex! Hey, cats! I don't have a dog. I can't run fast. But you know what it is, what it is. Do you think they're gonna get rid of the dogs? Dogs in Monster Hunter 6. What, 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 what is the, the rumor that's gonna be called Monster Hunter Paradise or something like that? I think that's what they were calling it. I hope there's water combat in it. I want to see like Iacris actually be, be threatening again. Because <laughs> like Iacris is a lot of things in, in Generations and Generations Ultimate. Uh. Fawn is not one of those things, even though he is my favorite monster of all time. Curses. Oh! Did I actually just blindly complete all of the key quests? <laughs> ah, Hunter, you seem to be doing well on your quests! By the way, the Meowsters has been looking for you. I'd give you her message myself, but I've forgotten the rhyme! You can find her at the Palico Ranch at the end of the path to the right of the village entrance. The Meowstress is a white variant who scouts Palicos, feelings that accompany hunters on hunts. She can tell you everything you need to know about Palicos. And don't keep her waiting too long, Hunter. Okay. Hi-ya! Oh. Sorry, Meowster. I was just practicing my Nyanjutsu as the Palco Dojo has opened up again. I feel so honored to have a Meowster that puts so much effort into raising Palicos. Whenever you want one of your Palicos to hit the bags, just speak with me, Nya. Meow, if you don't have any other need for me, I'll be getting back to my training. Hi, Nya! Salutations, Meowster. Meow may be of assistance. You you will never be of assistance. That's there. Remember, I'm only a meow away. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, manage equipment, change it to select equipment. I shall do the long sword. And I'm gonna change the art styles into adept because of course I am. And I'm gonna use soccer slash because of course I am. Ah, uh, this. This is where, this is when Longsword started to become the storm that is approaching. Right here. Here's the basis for it, right here. It's this game. This game is guilty. Oh, Hunter, thank heavens you're here. I have something to ask of you, dear. The chief mentioned you, guessing and saying that you might be up for some quick jaggy slaying. You see, some precious felines were on their way here. When whoa, catastrophe, catastrophe struck in the Jurassic frontier. They meant to head east, but instead they went west, right into a dire jaggy nest. Please, Hunter, may we count on your aid? Alone they won't last too long, I'm afraid. Here, let me pe let my pen take a short little jog across across the page. That nah. here, let my men. That nah. no, I messed up the rhyme. Come on, come on, you can do this, creep. Here, take my pen, let, let my pen take a short little jog across the pages of your request log. There we go, I finally got it. The request log, don't you know? It's simply the best. It details all of your village requests. First, from the start menu, select Hunter's Notes, if you please, and then select Request Log to view details with ease. It lists the requirements, rewards, and the client, so I'm sure it's something on which you'll be reliant. Go to the quest counter and look through the quests to find the one for helping get rid of those vile jaggy pests. Okay, Meowstress. I will be right back. But yeah, Adept Longsword is amazing. The only thing that, that you can't use in Adept Longsword is the backwards fade slash. You keep everything else. There's no reason.
reason not to use it. Hi, hi, hunter person. The Meowstress tells me she's got a request for you. Any requests you get are sent out to the quest counters in the villages or hunters of. Like, like literally all of them? How do they know that everyone wants me to run their errands? I marked the Meowstress's quest with a yellow bubble so you can keep track of it. Requests from others will be marked the same way. Makes them easy to find. Your tasks will vary from boring old go find a mushroom to kill that monster right in the face. And if you forget what to do, the info is kept in the request log inside your hunter's notes. Well, I'm in the middle of planning this campaign, so you run along and take care of the Meowstress's request. Anyway, here's all the questing action lined up for you today. Okay, well, I'm just gonna take this. Make us proud out there. See ya! Yeah, right there. I nailed it perfectly. Key and everything. Truly, my vocal cords are blessed by angels. What a powerful flavor. Feline rider activated. Hey, what do you want? Hey, Skippy. I guess it's about time I give you a little lesson on how upgrading works. But doing is learning. So once I've taught you the basics, try upgrading your own weapon. But nothing comes from nothing. You still need materials to do an upgrade. Oh, with some zenny. You're on your own for the materials, but you're a hunter. You can figure it out. Once you've got what you need, select upgrade equipment in the item you want to upgrade. Sometimes the materials needed for something can be mixed and matched from a material type. Every material has a material type and value indicating how much it will contribute to an upgrade. Bring me enough materials from the material type to satisfy the value requirement. And you're all set. You can help open the help menu and read up on the material values if you're still unclear on it. All right, enough yammering. Hand over some of those materials and I can show you manful in action. I've got a feeling that whatever I make is gonna be put to good use in your hands. Well, Skippy, what's it gonna be today? Let's find out, actually. Can I even upgrade it? Yes, because I have a single match light ore. Yay. Ivory Rabbit. I believe this. I believe the base uh, petrified sleeper actually upgrades into the uh, the Zutsune sword, if I'm remembering correctly. That or it could be completely misremembering, and it doesn't upgrade into anything cool whatsoever. Yeah, probably that first one. But now I have better yellow. Joy. <laughs> Let's get out of here. In the frontier, there are felines in trouble. Gather your things and depart on the double. Once you have saved them from certain defeat, come to see me for a sweet little treat. Okay. Do I get a cinnamon one? Stand still, eat ration. Continue to stand still, eat another ration. Max stamina. Jaggies, jaggies everywhere. I think. Not everywhere, they're only in, in certain zones, but you know, it's, it's, it's a thing. Jaggies, all the jaggies. Although at the same time, they're just jaggies. These, these things are gonna go down like super quick. Oh, wait, no, these aren't even Jaggies, these are Larianoths. I guess the Jaggies don't spawn in this- wait, no, they do, it's just that the Larianoths are in here right now for some reason. Volcanoes! Yeah, there's just two Volcan- three Volcan- four Volcanoes! Five, six, seven, eight Volcanoes! Nine Volcanoes! That's a lot of Volcanoes, jeez. Hello, Jaggy. Goodbye, Jaggy. Oh, wait, no, you're still alive. Dang. Give me the Jaggy goods. Give me it. Give me the juice. Thank you for the juice. I really appreciate it. Ah! Guess what, buddy? Oh, come on, 
on, you could have at least lived until I got the round slash off. Oh yeah, that's right, the corpses disappear when you carve them. I completely forgot about that. Nice. That's convenient. Down to area five I go. Down to area five I'm at. Ah, gotcha. Oh, well, dang it. Although one thing I am not to see is that I can't dodge forward. Dodging forward is such a cool thing to be able to do in World and Rise. Now, now I can only dodge sideways and backwards, right? No, not even backwards. Just to the sides. Nice. you will love to see it. Ooh. Juggy! Time to go into the big egg nest in the sky. You! Gotcha! I do remember that I need several jaggy materials in order to make like a really good armor set early on with like full fango pieces as well. So I'm getting all of these jaggy cars. I'm getting every single one. All of them are mine. But then I have to go fight a bull fango and I don't like bull fango. Bull fango is such an annoying monster. Oh, I missed. Oh yeah, that's right, I'm in adapt. I can't actually do the, the round house, house slash. That's right. I'm a genius. Curse you, Jaggy. Yo, Banabra, that didn't explode. Nice, gimme. Monster fluid, oh. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, the sound is just like super lame. Ah, uh, sigh. Banabra didn't make it. Nice! Free Jaggy. Free extra Jaggy. Don't mind if I do. Heck yeah. Easy like. Quest complete. The quest is completed. Fantastic. to save my game, thank you very much. Ah.
Well, now what? Now what do we do? Ooh. Yep. Ho ho! I see you finished your first quest. Already had them try out different styles and art side bet. If you want to swap things around, just visit the item box at your house or the prep area. Help. Didn't you already tell me this? So with any weapon, some like grass actually kind of be equipped when you've got a great sword. Oh no, he's telling me like specific ones. Okay, you really want to be the best, then you wanna uh, blah blah blah. Uh part today. Okay, goodbye. Do -do -do -do. Oh yeah, that's right. I have to go and talk to the Meowstress. I completely forgot. Nice. Hi. Do -do -do -do. Let's see. Oh, Hunter! Terrific! You're back safe and sound, and you pounded those jaggy right into the ground. Yes, I did. It was very easy. Sure, your coming to Berna was fateful. You saved the poor felines, and we're all oh so grateful. As thanks, I do hope you'll take a reward of a few things that I'd like to accord. First is a treat, a sweet batch of honey, and academy points, which are sort of like money. You can spend them for things at the bistro or trader, and if you ever run out, just get some more later. Thanks again, Hunter. We're deep in your debt. I'm sure that I'll see a lot more of you yet. Okay, goodbye. Store items. Uh, no, item sets. Wait, sets. Oh, that's right. I'm just short of wet stuff. Medicinal moss. Deliver eight unique ferns, deliver three dragon amber pieces, deliver three immortal moths. Unique ferns. the stream. Ah, oh, my face! Where's my face? My face is gone! There it is. There's my face. Fantastic. But yeah, for some reason I just can't figure out how to get the audio from desyncing from... Maybe it's the capture card? I don't know. It's just really hard to play this type of game when the sound isn't matching up. There's so many sound cues in the game. Well, anyway... If you enjoyed your stay at the stream today, consider doing the viewer things. Follow, share, check out my Twitch panels, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.